Madame euh, la secrétaire générale, parce que le français est aussi une langue de l'UN, donc je vais juste vous saluer en français, parce que nous sommes dans l'Alliance française aussi. Well. Madame la présidente de euh, cette assemblée, Madame la secrétaire générale, Monsieur le rapporteur, uh, Mr. Director of uh, UNIC, Your Excellency, uh, Commissioner for Education, we've just uh, heard uh, you just before. Um, head of Services, uh, Secretary uh, Generals of the different districts of education from uh, Lagos. Um, I'm very distinguished guest. I'm really thrilled to be here today because you know what, I really feel like in New York <laughs> at, at the UN. So this is really, really interesting to have you distinguished uh, delegates of all countries with a special mention to France, which I see on the first, uh, on the first row. It's really, really excited. Um, first, let me thank the of the UN office in Nigeria and its director, Mr. Ronald Kayanja, for organizing this second edition of the Lagos Secondary School Model UN conference. This is my first time, but I'm, I'm really impressed by what you, are, what you are doing, really. As a French diplomat, I'm really deeply interested in this initiative, which promotes diplomacy and multilateralism as a vector of peace and dialogue between cultures. Diplomacy is political, of course. Uh, states need to talk to one another to avoid wars or to bring peace. And of course, the UN, which is a major But diplomacy is not only multilateralism is key. And we have to prove the recent years have shown that what we took for granted was not necessarily, so we have to continue. and agencies are a reflection of our efforts for a better world where solutions come together and not alone. This is illustrated in every way we can. If you think of the pandemic we are now experiencing, the World Health Organization is a place where states can discuss a common approach against COVID-19. This pandemic shows that we need to share, that the need to share has never been stronger. I want to mention also another agency, WTO, the World Trade Organization, and where we have at the head of this organization a Nigerian lady, Mrs. Ngozi Okonjo Oweyala, and I, I think it deserves a round of applause to her because She took office just a few days ago, and this is fantastic to have uh, an, this uh, Nigerian uh, lady at the head of this organization. So you see, um, this is um, some of uh, the useful arenas of uh, multilateralism, where states can work together to fight the plights of diseases, poverty, hunger, uh, environment degradation, etc. Among these shared topics, Education is definitely a priority because it is key for the understanding of our environment and the world we live in. It is a way to reduce poverty. This is where international organizations such as the UNESCO make a difference by mobilizing innovative resources and solutions at a time where, for instance, schools were closed because of COVID-19 crisis. So there are many, so many examples to illustrate the importance of diplomacy and multilateralism. It is useful to think together about universal problems and find solutions for the good of all. Yes, it can get very complex and complicated at times, but always fascinating as topics and challenges are endless. In a way, It is a question of how we make progress in every way together. Because once we have peace, we also need a good education, a healthy environment, and gender equality also, for instance. For this, 
we need to evolve all the time and to find innovative solutions to hold our hopes high. This is key to our future and this is key to your future. And because you are the youth of Nigeria, you may be the Nigerian diplomats of tomorrow. I wish you so. And I'm sure our colleague from the UN will give you a wonderful perspective of what diplomacy and multilateralism really is. And this is what already you are experiencing today. And maybe it will make you feel like becoming a diplomat yourself. And as we are just a few days away from the International Day of uh, Women's Rights, I wish to encourage young girls in the assistance not to refrain from having high expectations, but on the contrary, to assert yourself as the 50% part of humanity. This is also a message that we convey worldwide to promote gender equality, but I can see that it has already been integrated here as the President and the Secretary General are females, and it, it, uh, it is worth mentioning. It's the good way. So I'm confident you will have great discussions, and I guess there may be future diplomats among you who will work on answers of tomorrow. Enjoy this conference, and thank you for inviting me. Thank you.